Hello my dear students in this video we will learn about the multiplier because we have done the determination of income by two method first was the ad is equal to as and s is equal to i so in this video we will learn only about the multiplier so multiplier is always denoted by k okay and k is equal to delta y divided by delta i so it is the formula this theory was given by jm keynes <clears throat> according to him if any changes takes place in the initial investment the income increases many times okay so how it works so we will learn in this video first of all here that is the formula k is equal to delta y divided by delta i so we also know that any mathematical value suppose 4 by 5 so it is considered as a ratio sum so here the same thing is that delta y by delta i is just like the 4 by 5 and k is the multiplier is the multiplier and delta y indicates the change in income and delta i indicates the change in investment so the definition is very easy it is a ratio between increase in investment increase in income due to increase in increase in investment so this is the definition of multiplier okay so multiplier is a ratio between increase in income due to increase in investment So and increase means that is the change in income. Okay, so delta y is equal to you may say k into delta i. Clear? Because here we can do the cross multiplication. So how many times the income will generate due to change in investment? and it will be denoted by k means multiplier now how it works first thing always remember it depends on it depends on mpc it means higher the higher the mpc higher will be multiplier value higher will be multi plier value this is the most important it totally depends on mpc why it depends on mpc it can be determined from the following formula we know that we know that y is equal to c plus s and we also know that s is equal to i so here we can write y is equal to c plus i clear so if any changes takes place in the national income the consumption and the investment will automatically change so we can write here delta y is equal to delta c plus delta i this is the equation first we can divide this equation both side by delta y
सो वॉट विल हैपन डेल्टा वाई डिवाइडेड बाई डेल्टा वाई इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा सी डिवाइडेड बाई डेल्टा वाई प्लस डेल्टा आई डिवाइडेड बाई डेल्टा वाई सो इट इज कैंसल एंड द वैल्यू इज वन सो वन इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा सी डिवाइडेड बाई डेल्टा वाई इज इक्वल टू एम पी सी प्लस हेयर यू नो दैट वॉट डेल्टा वाई डिवाइडेड बाई डेल्टा आई इज इक्वल टू के सो इट इज द रिसी प्रोकल डेल्टा आई डिवाइडेड बाई डेल्टा वाई इज इक्वल टू वन बाई के और वी कैन से के इज इक्वल टू वन डिवाइडेड बाई वन माइनस एम पी सी क्लियर सो हेयर एम पी सी इज टेकन ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड दैट्स वाई द वैल्यू ऑफ के विल बिकम के इज इक्वल टू वन डिवाइडेड बाई वन माइनस एम पी सी क्लियर we also know that mpc always lies between 0 to 1 so what will be the value of multiplier suppose mpc is equal to 0 0.9 0.8 जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव जीरो पॉइंट सपोज दैट इज इट वुड बी बेटर इन द एसेंडिंग ऑर्डर जीरो जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव जीरो पॉइंट एट जीरो पॉइंट नाइन एंड वन सो वॉट विल बी द वैल्यू ऑफ के सो इफ द वैल्यू एम पी सी इज जीरो इट मीन्स के इज इक्वल टू वन बिकॉज वन माइनस जीरो इज इक्वल टू वन एंड वन एंड वन कैंसल दैट्स वाई द वैल्यू ऑफ के विल बी वन इफ द वैल्यू इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इट मीन्स वॉट विल हैपन वन डिवाइडेड बाई वन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव इज इक्वल टू वन डिवाइडेड बाई पॉइंट सेवन फाइव और we can say 1 into 100 divided by 75 it means 4 by 3 clear so 1.33 so here the value will be 1.33 if the value is 0.8 it means that is the value of 1 divided by 1 minus 0.8 is equal to 1 divided by 0.2 or 1 into 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 so here the value will be 5 like that if the value is 0.9 the value will be 10 if the mpc is 1 it means the value of k will be infinitive so in this way we find that when the mpc will uh, k totally depends on mpc if the mpc is continuously increasing the value of k is also increasing is it clear now come to the next point so now come to the working of multiplier so how it works the one thing that is the most important that point number 1 it depends on one's expenditure is the income of other so this is the most important point and on this point it works okay so it can be explained with the help of following schedule so let delta i that is the investment this is the delta y 
change in income, that is the delta C, change in consumption, and that is the delta S, that is the change in saving. Okay? Here, let. In the economy, MPC is suppose 0 0.9. Clear? So, MPC is 0 0.9. It means, it means, all the consumer consumers are ready to spend ninety percent of increased income. Increased income so here mpc indicates that whatever the income generates out of the generated income all the people are ready to spend up to 90 percent so let here that is the suppose the investment is 1000 crore okay that is the additional investment means the change in investment in the economy ten takes 1000 crore and due to that what happens that is the 1000 crores income generates in the economy at the initial stage and here the MPC is 0 0.9 means 90% so thousands of 90 percent is equal to 900 and 100 is saved. So 100 crore is saved, 900 crores has been consumed and the income has generated 1000 crores. So as I told you, once expenditure is the income of other, so here the consumption is being done, that's why the income in the next generation has become 900. So 900 of 90 percent is equal to 810. Okay? And that is the 90 crore is preserved. Again, so 810 is the income in the third stage. So 800 and 810 of 90 percent of 90 percent is equal to 9 and 72 means 729 and if we remove 729 it means that is the 1 8 means 81 crore is set. So in this way it will continue up to how many? So here the MPC is 0 0.9 it means 10 times means the income will be generated that is 1 lakhs Ten thousand and ten thousand of ninety percent that is the nine thousand and saving will become one thousand. Clear? So don't be nervous how I have calculated ten thousand. So here look MPK is equal to how much? One divided by one minus MPC. So 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.9 because I have taken 0 0.9 as a MPC. So what will be the value? 1 divided by 0 0.1. Clear? So the what will be the value? 1 into 10 divided by 1 is equal to 10. So 10 times, 10 times of increased investment 
टेन टाइम्स ऑफ इन टेन टाइम्स द इनकम विल जनरेट टेन टाइम्स द इनकम विल जनरेट एज इन्वेस्टमेंट इज इज वन थाउजेंड क्रो क्लियर सो हेयर वी नो दैट के इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा वाई डिवाइडेड बाई डेल्टा आई वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड द वैल्यू ऑफ के दैट इज टेन सो टेन इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा वाई एंड द चेंज इन इन्वेस्टमेंट इज वन थाउजेंड क्रोर सो क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो डेल्टा वाई इज इक्वल टू टेन इन टू वन थाउजेंड इज इक्वल टू टेन थाउजेंड क्रोर एंड दैट्स वाई आई हैव टेकन टेन थाउजेंड दैट इज द चेंज इन इनकम नाइंटी परसेंट ऑफ टेन थाउजेंड क्रोर विल बी कंज्यूम दैट इज द नाइन थाउजेंड एंड द सेविंग विल बिकम वन थाउजेंड क्रोर इज इट क्लियर सो इन दिस वे द working of multiplier works clear i will you write in the uh, statement so you will write let that 1000 crore is invested in the economy and that is the change in in the initial investment the income generated 1000 crores and the mpc is mpc is 0.9 so the consumption level will be 900 crores and the saving will 100 crore as we know that once expenditure is the income of other that's why this consumption or that is the 900 crore will become the uh, income of the others so the same thing will apply with the others so they will also consume 90% that is 810 and they will save only 90 again it will become the consumption uh, sorry income of the others clear and they will also consume 729 in the form of consumption because the mpc is 0.9 and the saving will be 81 and this process will continue and the income generation will be economy in the 10000 and the consumption level up to the 90 9000 crore and the saving will be 1000 crore so in this way you will write now it can be also explained with the help of diagram so how it works there are two axes one is the income on the x axis that is the income clear and on the y axis that is the what ad clear income line will always drawn at an angle of 45 degree that is the y it is drawn at an angle of 45 degree clear this is the equilibrium level of equilibrium point that is the e because here the ad is equal to as so suppose oy level is of income is deter mind clear now if the aggregate demand means what that is the c plus i okay that is the initial investment suppose the aggregate demand moves upwards that is the ad1 it means what will happen c plus i plus delta i means change in investment that is the delta i so here you find that if any changes takes place in the investment income increases more than the investment so here oy will be automatically changed and it will becomes by y1 clear and the gap between the delta of y and y1 that is known as change in y clear so in this way uh, 
we can determine the new equilibrium level that is the E1 with the help of this diagram or with the help of multiplier value. Okay? I hope you will be able to understand in a better way and you will be also able to explain this theory in a better way. Okay? Thank you.